Well, we finally got our limited slip. Well, this came uh, right off the boat to me from Japan, and then even had this crumbled up in here. <laughs> it's crazy. Part of a Japanese paper. <laughs> nuts but yeah I didn't even look at this shit I don't know what it looks like none of that it's kind of crazy I had that, that newspaper from Japan in it uh, it's inside of a box inside of another box I think Well, it actually has all kinds of Japanese newspaper in here. <laughs> you can tell that came straight from Japan. It wasn't shipped from the U.S. Pretty cool, though. Everything's in here. All the bolts, everything. Believe it or not, this is the same thing as for an Evo. So let me get it out real quick. Yeah, these are the same ones for like an Evo. Believe it or not. But there it is. You see like the disc in it. And it's the SQ, so it's the... You know, the, there's no break-in period, none of that stuff. It's already done. And it's supposed to be quieter. All that good stuff. Yeah. Come with the bolts. Everything. And then plus their oil. You can't see it in there. I'll show it to you some other time. But I just figured I'd show it to you real quick. Just... I had it all day and never opened it and figured, well, might as well open it. Everything looks good, soaked in oil, so you obviously don't want to take it apart. Damn gear oil stinks, I can smell it straight through it. It's starting to come through as you can see right there. So I'm done playing with this, but yeah. Now we just need some coil overs and 60 foot would be a lot better, way better. All right, we got um, our throttle cable here. So we'll do like a little install video on that here once the weather's a little bit better, maybe tomorrow in the cold, who knows. But uh, then new throttle positioning sensor. And it don't look new, but it is. Um, this right here will be a the other one, you have no adjustment left. It's really bad, and I'll show you here in the next video. But, yeah, we'll put this in, and we might put... The reason I got this is I got a throttle body OEM when I poured it a long time ago. I thinking about putting it on and just using a new throttle body or a new uh, throttle positioning sensor. One last thing that can go wrong with it. Of course, OEM. Always buy your OEM parts. Now let's install this damn thing. Guys, it's fucking cold. It's uh, minus 17 right now at the wind chill. And it's freezing. We got a new battery for this. Alright, we got a new battery. And I thought it would be... I got it down in a place that's a lot cheaper than most places. And it's actually made in uh, Pennsylvania, so... I thought it would be made in China. 17 out. Let's see what, if she'll start. It is freaking cold, guys. I gotta get this thing cleaned out again. Everything sounds. <laughs> A little ticking because the. It'll have a little tick because of the damn cold weather. Put this on it. I gotta get the e-brakes for this yet. We'll get e-brakes for this. Well, at least it's running. 
I heard it tick a little bit. I think this thing might have a timing chain slap in it. Because we have a belt and we have a timing chain. Once the weather gets a little bit better, or basically once I get my injectors for my RD2, we'll put this thing inside the garage, turn the stove on, and then we'll uh, see if we need to replace that timing chain. I have several here, used ones, but I know they ain't got slap in them. Um, I've been driving it, been running pretty good. Battery's doing its job, so I'm glad of that. And it's too cold for my weight ass, so I'm done for today. Have a good one, guys. Like, subscribe, and uh, share. Let everybody know about this dumbass from PA with these Hondas.